Hi folks, Saturday. It's lovely and warm today, so I haven't been up to the plot for a week. So I'll just give you a bit of a roundup, show you what's going on. Sorry I can't do anything more exciting, but there's not really a lot much going on really. I'm not growing any giant veg this year. I think I need to start doing that. Get a bit more interest going. So I'll just uh, we'll just walk up to the plot now. As you can see everything's grown. Made a bit of a tunnel through these trees. <laughs> As you can see, everything's grown really well, all our trees in the field. We're streaming the path, but it's still, look at the height of the grass, it's crazy. So yeah, we'll just have a wander up, get absolutely wet through, because the grass is up to me, so I'm nearly up to my chest. We've strimmed all this the other week, this bit in here. I was going to have a camp, bit of a camping out session with my mates and the kids but that never happened and it's back up to being about six foot tall again so yeah, I can say I've not been in for a week so we'll have a look see how things have progressed, they're probably progressing really well and back, I can see a lot of flowers on the old uh, beans over there we'll start off in this bit, like I said it's been chucking down all week so everything will have had a really good water in the spuds are looking good Lots of flowers on now. I only planted these in April, early April, so they've only really been in about 80 days or so, so it's not really enough time to be starting to harvest them yet, but we'll give it another couple of weeks and then pull one up and see. So the garlic's still looking all right. No sign of any rust, still growing away strongly. Because I don't plant mine in autumn. I plant mine really early spring, so it's got a bit of a a harvest of quite a lot later than most people. In the last week since I've been up, my onions are starting to bulb up now we've passed the longest date. It's still looking good, no bolters as I can see of. So that's good. So looking really good. Yeah, it's starting to bulb. Not very big, but it's starting to go on the way. Let's have a look, banana shallots. They're the ones I was sent by Phil. Starting to, I'll just pull it, need to do a bit of weeding. That's the sort of size they are already, single ones. Plenty of time for those to grow, so they'll be massive as normal. And these, uh, some of my later ones, so I'm still not doing too badly. I planted a few squash round and about. It's not really taken off, but we'll give it a go anyway. We'll see how it, see how it fares, plenty of time. Peas are looking almost ready to be picked now. Got tons of pods on. Just a, just a wee bit short of pickable, I think. But uh, looking like we've got a really good crop of peas this year. They've just gone bang in the last week. Yeah, just short. It's not far off being pickable. I would say another three or four days if we get any decent warm weather. With all the rain we've had, should be good to go. So that's a decent crop of peas looking to be on the way. This rocket's gone boom as well. It does go to seed, like I said, but you can just keep snapping these bits off. Let's just keep taking the, the leaves. You'll never eat as much as you grow because it just grows like a weed. But uh, really good crop. Need to do some weeding. It's all gone a bit bonkers. This will be setting a lot of spring onions in here, in amongst the weeds. Coming along nice and, nice and uh, steadily. I don't think I've showed you the carrots yet this year. These are the exactly the same way as I grow my exhibition carrots I've just got them outside still find it the safest way to to grow carrots to get rid of carrot fly because not that carrot fly don't fly above two foot but they don't have a they have a tendency not to so if you can get them above ground level it's, it's quite a good idea and growing them in these in the sand they also get a really good carrot so I've got plenty of those to go at got 50 odd and I've grown some in a little pot there a lot of smaller pot just to see how they get on so this bed's really come on in the last week Udians are doing spectacularly well actually so I'm really happy with this bit I'm just have a wander into the the polytunnel with no roof on god things have really flown on <laughs> <coughs> if I can show you my sunflowers I'm growing growing quite a few this is uh, 
It's one called Titan. They reckon it can grow up to about 16 foot tall. It's looking really strong, really sturdy, sturdy stem on it. And I might be a bit presumptuous by putting a 15 foot pole up for it to grow up, but you never know. It's doing all right so far. It's into good soil, so we'll see how that gets on later on. Second lot of lettuce, they're all get, getting away strongly now. And again with a rocket. I don't think you need to grow about 10 plants like I've grown because I think two's plenty. And these iceberg have absolutely flown on. Just like I said in the last, I haven't been up for a week and there was no hearts on them really. And now it's almost ready to take, it's really hearted up well. So I'm really pleased with these. Again, more lettuce. Some of the little gems. Little gems are looking a bit better now. They're ready to take. I always grow way too many lettuce. But uh, they're all good to go. And every time I take a lettuce, I just put a little uh, seedling in its place, so we just keep going and going. But the French beans now seem to have filled up the, the space I've given them. And as you can see, absolutely covered in flowers coming now. Loads and loads of them. Must be 20, 30 flowers on each plant at least, and they'll keep coming when you keep picking them. So we should have a bumper crop of, pea, of beans shortly. So that'll be good. Yeah, really successful these. No signs of any diseases or anything. Been looking pretty good. First lot of spring onions, been taking those. Courgette, not got any on yet, I don't think. Oh look, we've got a little baby one on there. First courgette of the year. Still only a tiny little plant, but uh, planted another one there. And another tiny little one on there. So looking good. A few more of the sunflowers. I think Tony's growing some. Tony from Tony's whatever, I don't think he's called this channel anything, but Tony. Not Tony, Andy, sorry. He's growing some of these Titans, so we'll have a bit of a, a YouTube grow off and see if it can grow the biggest. And the second lot of peas, no flowers on those yet, but really strong plants. So I'm pretty pleased with everything. Like I said, I haven't been up for a week. And it's shocked me quite a lot how things have really flown on in the last week. Just have a look at the the other bit. Wow, <laughs> crazy! Didn't have a single sweet pea on a week ago, and now it's absolutely covered in it. God, it's crazy what rain does. Like I said, we've not had any rain for ages, and then it's chucked it down. We've got tons of these sweet peas, so that's really good. Yeah, can't complain at all. Rhubarb's about on its last legs. I did do a picking about a week ago. That'll probably be the final picking because I want to leave the leaves. I don't want to be picking anymore and denude it of all its leaves so it can put some energy back into the crown for next year. So I've picked tons of it and I've frozen it. So we're all good to go with that. Let's have a look at the pond, what's been happening. Oh, wow. I keep saying, wow, it's a bit silly. These are these. I don't know whether you can better make that out. But these have really grown. Lovely like tiger striped sedge sedge reeds. I did spot a lot of uh, little baby froglets the other day, so I'll try, I'll try and find some. Because they've all obviously ha come out from being a tadpole and grown into froglets. But everything's looking good in the in the little pond. I did notice some. I just lifted a few bits of this grass up. That's why I've left these weeds, and they were hiding in amongst this. So we'll just have another, have a little look. Don't appear to be any. If I find some, I'll show you. Have a look under this one. No, they all seem to have disappeared. But anyway, the pond's looking really good. There is a resident, fully grown frog in there. And I think what I'll do at the end of this video, I'll chuck my camera into the pond and you can have an underwater shot. So we'll give that a go in a couple of seconds. And finally, I've given up on the wildflower thing. Nothing was growing because it was so dry and cracked. And all that ended up was all the all the rose bay willow herb came up. So I've given it up for this year, just covered it back over with the membrane. And we'll think of something else to do next year, possibly grow a giant marrow. Anyway, onto the leeks. They've all perked up well now. They're all standing erect. A lot healthier looking than they did do when I just planted them. It's just starting to rain as well. 
can't really see the brassicas but things are really doing well so right we'll just have a final look in this pond I'll stick my camera in see if we can get some underwater shots see what's lurking about so here goes nothing let's get it in let's see what there Fucking nibble in there. Whoa, big up, big Eddie Bob's here, look. Big Eddie Bob. Big headed Bob. Fuck it, I'm getting eaten alive. A nibble in there. <laughs> well, I can't see the screen, but anyway, that's about it, folks. Bit of a strange ending to the to the video. Sticking my hand, sticking my camera in the pond. Anyway, that's it, folks. Just a quick round up. Sorry, the can't, I can't do anything more interesting. Showing you how to do things or anything. It's just. The way it is at the moment, just growing things, not doing anything special. Anyway, that's it, folks. I will see you later.